Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Deponia Doomsday. First of all, I have to apologize for what happened in the last episode. I had a coughing fit and completely forgot to edit it out. And I didn't want to have to go back and edit it out and re-upload the video because re-uploading stuff is a pain. Well, uploading in general is a pain. But yeah, I live in a very uh, dry environment. Usually have some water with me, and if you ever see a skip, it's usually me drinking that water, but I neglected to have water. Anyway, enough excuses. Last time, we tried to make up a goal to uh, fool the love machine thingy, and we still need to do that. So, once again, I was at a loss as to what to do. So here is what you do. First of all, let's look at that again. Uh, I wish Gold could see this. <laughs> you comfy up there? <sighs> and again. Uh, I wish Gold could see this. <laughs> you um. Try to use something on it. My plans are under a lucky star. Okay, well, anyway, we do have to use this on him. Don't move! Wait! What are you gonna do? Don't move also applies to your drool dispenser. Hypertest! Ow, oh, don't be such a baby. It's like tearing off a band aid. Just with a hammer and chisel, that's all. No! <laughs> I didn't realize that this is what you had to do, I would have guessed. The water. Don't forget! To roll. Oh, ooh. Why don't people ever listen all the way through to the end of a sentence? <laughs> I wish that was an option. Okay, yeah, what the heck? Wait a minute. It is an option, but that doesn't make any sense. Huh, that's pretty silly. Ah, what the heck. For love! Yeah, that's what confused me is that there's no. Get a star from the heaven. <laughs> Check. There's no hand option there, so how are you supposed to know to do that? <sighs> oh well. Anyway, where did uh, where did MacGuffin go? Well, anyway, he could probably help us with the uh, camera thing. Oh look, Monsieur has finally decided to show up. Well, who would have thought it? After you almost managed to kill me. Ah, there was never the slightest danger. You were hanging over the river. Directly above the site where beavers had constructed a dam out of rusty nails. That still counts as river. I think I need a doctor. Well, life isn't a bargain bin. For example, I needed a reliable assistant. And now look in the mirror. <laughs> oh, that's, that's kind of mean. I gotta just talk to him. He recovered quickly. Maybe there's a competent adventurer in him after all. Well, before I do things, let's, uh, put this. <laughs> Alright, looking good. So, what's your plan? Porta Rustica is only a few hours upriver. If we can prevent your departure, nobody can turn back time in Kuvak this evening. Could get very tight. I'll already be departing from there at dawn. Now that's taken care of. I've arranged for a boat. All we need is a romantic photo of Gold and me. And where is she? And what is that there? The cast is up to the director, okay? You operate the camera. Right? Ready yet? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Just press the shutter button. Camera ready. She. Good news! I've managed to persuade Pimpy. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Uh, Goal, this uh, might look strange, but. Uh... Is that supposed to be me? What sort of perverted games are you playing here? Well, I, I only uh, push the button. <laughs> it's, it's part of my plan to. Uh, I, I don't want to know. Just the boat is ready. Hurry up! Women, eh? Just shut up, Big Mac. Well, that was completely pointless, and it only ended you up. You were no. right. Love is just like the sea. Leave it just as deep and as wide. I agree. There are sharks, creek, and venomous. Pimpy, oh Pimpy, oh Pimpy, the 
Come on, don't dawdle. Don't you get it? We're too late. Look, the sun has almost set. My other me left here hours ago. Oh yeah? And then why am I in such a hurry? Because you are a complete idiot. How long do we have until the time reset? Let's see. The sun has just set on Elysium. Root of Deponia's radius, plus the height of Elysium's orbit, I estimate about two hours after sundown. Damn, I almost wish we were back in the time machine. Hmm. Well, actually my lab has everything I would need in order to... Junior? You've got some nerve! Into my office immediately! Step on it! Quiet at the kitty table. The adults are talking. Psst. Rufus! That's the Dean. The Dean is a dwarf? My name is Dean Angus McChronicle Senior. Senior? Huh. <laughs> Vice Senior is probably more like it, if that. McChronicle would certainly have told me if he had a son. But I don't. May I introduce to you my father? Yes, of course. And I'm the new guest lecturer. Then why are you still standing around? What are you waiting for? To the lecture hall! No, 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 not so quick. I think there's something we need to discuss in peace and quiet. Hello, class. Hello. Hello! So, do you have any questions? I certainly do. Uh, what molar mass does a chronoparticle have? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, anyone else? Uh, how do 4D glasses work? Okay. 4D, certainly. Uh, 3D and 2D have certainly become household names. How can deterministic and non-deterministic theories of time be made compatible? Not with a hasty reply, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, where is McChronicle? Yeah, McChronicle. Mamoo, mamoo. Boo! McChronipants isn't here, and I have to go as well. Occupy yourselves for the meantime. All these theoretical questions won't help you in the real world anyway. Haldica wasn't discovered from a desk, either. Even your beloved McChronicle knew that, and worked on a real-time machine. You wouldn't happen to know where I can find it. Is this it? Oh, that is just a tachyon compressor. It creates an anomaly that simulates interim time. So, it's a simulator. Where can I find the actual device? If McChronicle was working on something, then it would definitely be in his shed. But no one is allowed in there. The Dean locked it and pocketed the key. And that brings us to today's first lesson. The lock has never been built, whose secrets Professor Rufus couldn't uncover. Write that down. It might be on the exam. And now we are in a brand new area, Porto Rustica. So, uh, we were, got here way too late, but perhaps if we can use another time machine, we can go back in time to stop McChronicle from using his time machine. Ugh. It just keeps getting more convoluted. Nothing's ready for the garbage pail yet. And, uh, let me guess. Yep, inventory empties every time we go to a new area. A platypus basket. I wonder what it's used for. Yeah, I'm, a. Uh, not not a fan of goal right now. Not at all. Okay, let's see. What else can I look at? What we're missing here is an underpaid assistant. Shouldn't be hard. After all, this is a university. What's this again? Oh, that is just a tachyon compressor. It creates an anomaly that simulates interim time. Follow-up question. Who likes a smartass? No one? Correct. <laughs> So perhaps we need to use this to uh, get the correct mechanics of what we have to actually do. Like use the simulation here to see if what we're doing is correct. A handsome little fellow. Gucci, gucci, goo. Aw. But yeah, I'm only just kind of guessing. Hey, buddy. Oh, <laughs> look at it. A handsome little fellow. Gucci, gucci, goo. Ah. Hey, stop that. 
the little fella's pretty aggressive. Uh, probably had a miserable childhood. No friends to help him sabotage strangers' training wheels. Oh, so sad. Well, we have a platypus basket. Come on, get in there, you. <laughs> oh, quit your whining. Your old cage didn't smell any better. <laughs> oh, we have a platypus now. Let's try this. So, pay close attention. Moment, mom, moment. I think I missed it. Uh, will that be in the exam? Boo! Take it easy now. Nothing can happen until I uh, press here, right? Aha! Uh -huh. And what is that? <gasps> That's a temple anomaly! A new layer in space-time that possesses all the known characteristics of interim time. I see. Like a balloon slowly being filled. No. Not like a balloon in any way at all. Why not? I like balloons. So what is happening here? <laughs> what is that? <gasps> That's a temple anomaly! Oh yeah, the balloon. No, not the balloon. <laughs> Maybe you just don't know the right kind of balloon. Well, I don't know what we're going to do with that. Let's uh, start talking to people. Maybe it's time to pass the torch to the next generation. Like in all of my favorite movies. Alf 4, The Miscarriage, Cowboy Dodo, and the Alien Blockheads. Or Space Teddy's Kidnapper's Caravan. Okay... Where can I find McChronicle's time machine? If McChronicle was working on something, then it would... But oh, no one is still the really? So I guess they all just say the same thing. They all count as one. Hey, Gull. I should be mad at her, but she always gets this cute little frown line between her eyebrows when she gets stubborn. Gull, what are you doing? What's it look like? I'm interrupting your lecture. But you, you can't do that. Oh, really? What are you going to do about it, then? Have me fail the exam? I'm trying to restore time here. The time when it's alleged that I've fallen in love with you. No thanks. Can you at least take your feet off the table and take your hat off? You're undermining my authority as a teacher. What's with the silly get-up anyway? Take a guess. I've made myself my own tinfoil hat, so that I will always remember what a complete and total idiot you are. That might actually help us. Hmm. Can someone tell me why the time is not proceeding? Because your lecture is mind-numbingly dull. That's why. How long is this seminar, anyway? All day seminars run until 8. What? But that's far too long. It's already been too long. Hmm. Does that mean we, like, can't leave? Or? Oh, we, that must be McChronicle's umbrella. Always prepared for anything. Always and everything, oh, as always. Without any style whatsoever. We have an umbrella. Remember, observe the anomaly, take notes, and give me a good evaluation at ratemyprof.org. I wonder if there is something for uh, for Rufus there. I've only been there a couple times. What's the deal with those stupid glasses anyway? They help me to focus on my target. By making you practically blind? That sharpens all my other senses. And protects me against pollen, household dust, and goat mites. I suffer from allergies, you see. Well, methinks you stand on the wrong side of the junk ball bat. Okay. What are you doing? What does it look like? Oh, of course. You couldn't know. Oh, of course you couldn't know. It looks like two blind chickens wandered into the field. Further proof, if it were needed, that eyesight counts for nothing. We are professionals in our field. Uh-huh. Hitting the old junk ball? Battering smart asses. Oh, don't worry. He hasn't completed his training yet. That's why he's using the training bag. Training bag? That looks to me more like a Drexican pinata. Typical sighted person. It's not always about how things look. But rather than it rains candy? No, but that doesn't hurt, right? Drexican? <laughs> That's pretty funny, and there's a goat. It seems to be the university mascot. In professional circles, this kind of thing is called boomerang understatement. Okay, oh, there's a platypus all the way up there. Hmm. Hey, 
Stay away from our junk ball training bag. Training bag? That looks to me more like a Drexican typical oh. site. It's not a bad. No, but that doesn't. Are they both blind or? I don't know. Irish, Irish sensei. Two words I never thought I'd hear to see together. Let's see, what all can we click on? So I clicked on those. Oh, there's weeds over here. Let's... Oh, whoops. Thought I was going back, but no, I'm coming here. Okay, we'll check on the weeds later. Can we click on in here? Nothing, if my space bar is correct. What are okay. you doing here? You should be lecturing. I just wanted to stretch my legs. Then stretch them back to the lecture hall. And don't come back until the bell is rung. Go on, then. Hop to it. Until the bell is rung, we might have to find a way to ring that bell then. Okay. That must be the student tobacco Lonzo's always talking about. <laughs> a plant whose normal habitat, funnily enough, seems to be the balcony of shared student apartments. So, if we grab some. The plant smells like Lonzo's back room whenever that thrash metal band comes to visit. Ooh. So I'm getting an idea. Not a fully formed one yet, but an, but an idea nonetheless. Huh. Photos of baby wombats. Deponia 4 walkthrough for sale. <laughs> hey, that looks interesting. Do you want to share my lunch with me? <laughs> Love to. I'm hungry. Me too. Now all I have to do is find this romantic ninja. Hmm. Do you want to share my love? <laughs> that part of the puzzle was easy. Now all I have to do is find this romantic ninja. Romantic ninja. Hmm. All right, where else can I? What the? <laughs> Okay, so that's which raises one flag and lowers another and gets the goat over here. Does that help me any? It seems to be in perfect. Hmm. It appears not. Well, let's see anywhere else I can go. somehow doubt that will motivate him much. Hmm. Okay, weed is not gonna work. What else? Oh, there's this thing over here. I didn't even see it. Ah, hello. It reminds me of someone. My tax consultant. <laughs> here, kitty, 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 kitty. Ugh, stubborn as a stop sign. Somehow I doubt that'll lure the platypus in. Hmm. Spoiled beast. So how about? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Uh, it obviously doesn't know what's good. Okay. Always. That must be McChronicles umbrella. Always prepared for anything. Always assuming the worst. Okay. Let's see. Somehow I doubt spoiled. Oh. Well, I did something right. Hmm. It seems I don't have the right bait for my platypus trap. So, what kind of bait would the platypus want? Hey! I found the scaffold! <laughs> I got an achievement for looking at the scaffold. It flows! Downhill, but it flows. We do anything with the anomaly? This isn't a weather experiment. It's a time experiment. Easy to confuse, I know. Wait a minute. Oh, can I not get the platypus back? Or can I put it back in the basket? 
He's not done yet. He just needs a little motivation. Shoot. Okay, I was going to try to use him to lure out the other platypus. Maybe the other platypus is what will get him running. But I need to lure that platypus out in order to get this platypus running. But how can I do that? Nothing's ready for the garbage pail yet. Hmm. Maybe the lunch ninja knows something. Anybody know about this? Does one of you by any chance go by the name of Romantic, oh, romantic. Ninja? Uh, Mr. Rufus, p please don't. You're Romantic Ninja? <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Did you know that he's a Romantic Ninja? That according to this note, he bears the black belt in the arts of love. <laughs> oh, baby. the ground would just swallow me up. No, we didn't know that. Mama. That must be because he merges with the shadows of loneliness. Or so it is written by him. Luckily, I found this note. Because if you are threatened on the battlefield of love, which apparently applies to me. Threatened? My katana has ripped your heart to shreds. He offers the following. Do you want to share my lunch with me? Here, you can have it. I've lost my appetite. Thank you, Romantic Ninja. Your courage and generosity will not be forgotten. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so what do we have? A fresh sam fresh sandwich. Platypuses only eat stale bread. They spit out anything fresh. And then they complain that everything was better back in the day and write embittered online reviews. Okay. Can we expedite the aging process? Well, what would happen if I were to hold this lunch in there? Me, me, me! Uh, time passes much quicker in the anomaly than outside, so the sandwich will get old! I'm actually figuring this out pretty well. Well, anyone could have foreseen that. Now it's only good for duck food, and I have to cut my fingernails again. Yeah, maybe putting your hand in there wasn't such a great idea. <laughs> Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middleman. Okay, so we have ourselves the trap, hopefully. Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms. Okay, we already said that. Alright, we have a pretty female platypus let's do this let's see if this can motivate him oh what <laughs> get it on? me 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 Stereo Monocle? My name's Norbert, Professor. Nerdbert? I can remember that. And your answer is? The inflow of energy caused the expansion of the anomaly to increase. Now, inside simulated interim time. And then all of a sudden, time just flies by. Momo, 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 momo. She said only inside the bubble. Correct answer, but points off for interrupting, under Vice Valkyrie. Her name is Hildebrand. <laughs> Her parents were jokers, were they? No, Scraplanders. She's an exchange student. And I'm Daniel Glandular. And am I supposed to remember that now, or what? Yeah! Yippee! School's out! Uh, don't you want to turn the anomaly off first? Lesson two, never want to do something that somebody else can do. So I guess we're not going to turn it off? So, not that they're not here. And... Uh, now? It won't stop thrashing about! I can see that. Ah! And what was that? It's coming from your coat. The other platypus is crying. All right, all right. <laughs> Nothing but trouble. Okay, I know how to slow it down. <laughs> now! Can anyone tell me what I'm doing here? Behaving like an idiot. And then, say, I'm not going anywhere. And with grades like yours, that's not likely to change anytime soon. Okay, that did not work. It already got all the stale bread. Can we just leave? Damn. 
the anomaly is blocking the exit, but at least I'm not losing any time while I'm trapped. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, but at least I'm not losing The umbrella. Whoa, shame. Oh, just when it was getting exciting. Boo! Everything comes to an end. Get used to it. Okay, so, uh, class is dismissed now, but what else can we do here, and can we actually just stop the whole time loop thing, because that is our whole goal right now. Well, I guess we're just going to have to uh, figure that out next time on Let's Play Deponia Doomsday. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.